Um, today I'm going to talk about how to do hands effectively and easily as Ed uh, on a fight stick. Um, as far as a pad, I'm not too sure. I've, I'm not a pad player, but um, yeah, this is how you can effectively... I see a lot, one of the biggest questions people ask about playing Ed is about hands, right? How to do hands well or like easily because hands is a hard the traditional way of doing hands takes a fair bit of practice hands is very hard for a new player to do um, but yeah thankfully for Ed there's a lot of things to uh, make it a bit easier so um, first thing I'll talk about is why would you even want to use this move right why would you want to use hands at all um, as you can see if you do this a hundred 135 damage, right? And if you do this, 122. Less damage, you know? What's the point? Um, and the main reason you'd want to do hands, both cancel into super, so that's not the problem. But this cannot hit. So if you go like very far away, see? It doesn't combo from there. But hands will always combo now. It didn't used to, uh, but they since they buffed it a couple patches ago, um, hands will always combo off situations like crouch medium kick, as long as it's not a whiff punish. If it's hitting where they were standing, it'll always combo. And another reason you need hands is for combos like that, because it will not work um, using that, the fireball in that combo. You can do this. Oops. Oh man. You can do this, but at certain ranges, that'll also not work, you know, stuff like that. Whereas hands, they can kind of whiff like that. But even if it does whiff in a situation like that, you're not flying into the air and being crush counterable. You're, you're safe, relatively. So that's another reason hands are important as well. And if you do this, oops, you can combo into super, right? Off of a jab combo. Whereas you can't do that, um of this so yeah anyways those are the basic reasons why hands are an important move um, for Ed or oh, flicker strike I think it's called right but anyway let's move on uh, how can you easily and effectively do hands uh, and the answer is well what's the problem rather with doing hands as Ed what's the major problem all right now one benefit to Ed's hands is there's only whoop, messed it up there there's only one strength of hands so in older games and with other characters for their hands they have different strengths you know because most special moves have like different strengths um i can't really show you any examples of ed because all his moves you know have the same strengths basically but um you know, take reuse fireballs for example. He has slow fireball. Oh, look, it's fireballs. Well, it's even hard to see this. Slow fireball, medium, fast, right? Hands usually work like that. So you, when you did hands of other characters, you always needed to end on a specific button to get the strength you wanted. But with Ed, strength doesn't matter. So you can end, you can do whatever's easiest for you. It doesn't matter what button you end on. There's not even EX hands. So, yeah. But the problem with this is you cannot press two buttons at the same time. Because if you do, you'll get that, right? You'll get a DP by accident. And if they're blocking and you do that, um, you're going to get punished hard. So you want to have a method of doing hands that will prevent you from accidentally doing DPs. And doing the traditional piano method, um, if you're good at it, you'll be fine but it is more prone in my opinion to accidentally pressing two buttons and getting that so what can you do uh, to prevent this and the answer is sliding you do a slide it's basically you put your finger on the starting button you just slide your hand across and then slide it back because it doesn't matter what button you end on and that is how you get your hands right um yeah i'll just do a little video to kind of demonstrate to make it a bit more clear okay um this is how i do hands 
Oh, like, I think it's the easiest way, especially as a beginner, if you don't know how to do, like, piano in properly or anything like that. Um, first off, apologies for my stick being so dirty. Um, I haven't used it in a bit, like a week or so, so it's got kind of dust and all this crap on it. And my camera is really shitty, so sorry about that as well. But anyways, let's get to it. Um, the one people have the most trouble with is, like, crouch medium kick. Sorry, crouch medium kick in two hands, right? Because the hand placement can be a bit weird. Uh, the way I do it is I have my middle finger on the medium kick and my pointing finger is ready to go here. So it kind of looks like that, right? I press medium kick, start here, slide here, slide here, slide back to here, slide back to here. That's five inputs, and you just do it in, like, one big motion. So a bit faster, it's like that, right? And then, like, in real speed, it's, like, kind of like that. And the buttons, like, press pretty easy because um, they don't have much resistance at all, as you'll find with most sticks that use Sanwa buttons. It's just, just like that. And that's how you can get hands real easy. And you can do this with, like, anything. If you start with... Um, Say you're doing like a jab combo, right? You're doing jab into hands. The jab uh, itself counts as one input. So you can just go like, like it, like that, all right? Or if you're just doing jab hands, just, just do that and it'll do jab hands, right? Um, I don't use the macro buttons because they can get in the way and you can accidentally get DPs and stuff like that. But I don't use macro buttons even on uh, characters where they're not a problem. So that's just me. But it does help in this, especially with Ed, because you don't want to accidentally do a DP or anything like that. Because that's the problem with doing hands as his character is accidentally doing two inputs at the same time and getting something really unsafe. So yeah, that's hopefully that's helpful. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's basically... The general idea but uh one other thing i'd like to say real quick is thanks to ezekiel uh who i met at uh bam 10 uh, battle arena melbourne and who i've known for a while uh on the discord that i'm on for making the intro uh of this video and that i'll use for other videos um i didn't even ask him to do it he just made it for me so that was really cool um but yeah thanks for that heaps but yeah that's pretty much it guys um that's how I do hands, at least. I find it to be the most reliable and the easy way to do it, uh, personally. And it works well for Ed, because like I said, it doesn't matter what strength uh, you end on. You can do it in any way that's comfortable for you with the uh, sliding method. And yeah, that's all.